Hey everyone, Mike here and uh, welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar, I have a 2007 Saturn Sky that I've been doing a bunch of mods and stuff to and uh, currently working on installing a turbo in my um, 2.4 liter, the base model and uh, today is actually day five. So five, there we go. So the um, I'll put a link below to the other previous days that we've been working on it, but we are on day five. Uh, it's actually taking a little longer than we thought because this isn't like a bolt-on turbo kit that you can get from DDM Works or RPM uh, Motorsports or anything like that. This is kind of like a custom made so when you go custom you literally have to do some custom stuff and we've been running into a few issues, issues here and there but I think we got a lot of stuff worked out and I had to work today and Delmer, the guy that, uh, that I bought it from and who is, to be honest, doing most of the install, he's, um, he's already been working on it today and uh, supposedly when I last talked to him, he has the turbo built, uh, bolted on, the oil lines are set up, and I'm not sure we got further than that or not. But anyway, I'm ready to head over there, see what else we have to do. can work uh, sometime, uh, some of the time this evening, and uh, hopefully we'll get even more done. Not sure if I'm going to start it today or get it home just because the weather's pretty crappy, and uh, so I'm driving myself there rather than getting dropped off. So I don't plan on bringing it home. Um, but hopefully we can at least maybe get it started. That would be kind of cool. So I am on my way and uh, let's see what he's doing. All right, we are here and Delmer has been busy. We got the turbo all hooked up, like I said, and the oil lines are running down. This is the uh, line that takes the oil in. We got the one that takes the oil, drains it into the thing, into the oil pan. This is rerouted. The braces moved, and the brackets moved as far as for the um, cabling and the fuse box. So we've got plenty of room here. We can put the heat shield going around the hot side of the turbo. And everything looks good so far. So the next thing we're going to do is start hooking up the vacuum lines. And uh, I'm not sure after that. Alright, we are really close to getting this thing started. Got a couple bolts done and then the uh, exhaust there to hook up. And I think there's one more left on the hot side of the turbo to do. Plug in the negative on the battery and uh, crank it and check for leaks. All right, we got everything all buttoned up. And here comes the moment of truth. Hopefully my keys are in here, which I oh. think... Oh, do you have my keys? Inside. Inside the house. Oh, inside your house. Oh, okay, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it would be worse if it was inside my house. All right, well, Delmer's getting the keys. You can see everything's all buttoned up here. We got all of the cables. Um, zip tied down and actually attached to the fender here a little bit to get those out of the way. And all of the vacuum hoses are ready to go. It looks really good. Hopefully it's a good start. We have no leaks. We definitely don't want any leaks. Alright, here we go. It's the first start of the turbocharged. 2.4 liter. My car, you ready? And it starts right up. Alright, let's go out and make sure there's no leaks. Domer's already checking. Oh, uh, to stop it? Yeah, Is it leaking? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one is. Alright. sucked all the First thing is we gotta add more steering fluid because mm -hmm. it sucked it all down there, which we kind of thought, but I kind of forgot about it. What's all that's going on down there with all the smoke? All the oil is Is it leaking or is it just. No, it's not leaking. But we need to keep it. let it run. Alright. Is this just stuff that like dripped on there or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Well, my check engine light turned off. I'm sure that's not gonna be for long though. Do you have your scanner? Huh? Do you have the scanner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just adding less. And actually, the antifreeze, yeah, that looks good too. Mm -hmm. Well, we did the pressure test, so that should have been fine. Knock on wood. That um, O2 sensor cable 
leaning up against that. I guess that's okay, right? Yeah, it has a hit you. It should be. That should be good. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah well, the. Around. Come on, we're cutting that little corner out anyway. Yeah. So we'll, we can probably tape it up there or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, here we go. Start number two. What's wrong, key? There we go. Ready? All right. My check engine lights off, but I'm sure that's not going to be for very long. Take a peek. That's a manifold. Oh, it's a manifold. It's carrying all the oil. Huh? All the lubricant that we use. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Doesn't look like there's any leaks going on there. We just kind of have the engine burning off a bunch of crap that uh, oils and lubrication and stuff we used. We kind of put the parts in. But it's sounding good. The water pump's no leaking, thank God, because I have to put a for sale sign on this thing if we had to change that again. Okay, we're waiting for the temperatures to get up there and it's Got kind of stuck at 179.6, but you can see all of the uh, smoke is gone. So whatever was in the engine kind of burned off, and it's actually running in kind of rich mode, mainly because the, uh, the charge pipes are a little bit smaller than, than normal. And actually, the temperature went down to 177. 177. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's running rich. So it's what it's pulling it off. Pulling, yeah, the fuel is. Yeah. So the rich mode is pulling the engine off. I mean, how hot do you want it to get? I mean, I can keep revving it. Yeah, we can just let it on high. Okay. Yeah. Just in case. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, I like to paint these red. Red? But yeah, because I have. Well, when we put the venom brace back on, oh, when I put the okay, venom brace, yeah, yeah. that'll match the red there, the red yeah. there, there. Yeah, right. But. Uh, well, since these are so easy to take off, um, yeah, you can spray. Uh, let's say, I don't remember. You can run, you can buy them out or something. Oh. Just like a gel, to kind of get rid of the paint. Oh, to get rid of this. Yeah. Like a like a not a thinner, but paint remover. Smoke is gone. And it is looking good. There's no leaks anywhere. That's looking good. And we got the return line down there. The camera won't focus. Oh well. Water pump looks good. I'm assuming. Alright. I don't really know for sure about the water pump, I won't smell anything. The next day. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Mike here once again, and I believe we are on day six of my turbo build for my Saturn Sky. Everything is so far is going um, very well. We've had a few hiccups here and there, uh, which is normal. Anytime you deal with some custom stuff, you're gonna get some crazy things going on, but uh, everything is going very well so far. The turbo is in, all the charge pipes are in, <coughs> the intercooler is in. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting all choked up, excited here. Um, all the hardware, main hardware sections and components are in. A couple little things I still got to do. I still got to add the gauges, the boost gauge, and the airflow sensor or wide area or wide band airflow um, gauge as well. And I'm going to be putting those in um, probably when I get back home. And um, another, like a little modification things I got to do, which is which is typical. Uh, the other thing I want to do, I'm going to take a look again at that front air dam and that other piece that goes on top. 
Kind of use the stock pieces to get that airflow going right into the radiator and the uh, intercooler instead of using the things that I have. Uh, I was originally thinking it's keeping those stock. I really don't want to mess with them. But you know what? This car is probably never going back to stock anyway, so I might as well make it make it right. So, like I said, I'll kind of revisit that and see if I can do some modifications for the air dam, get that airflow working properly. But uh, anyway, like I said, everything's going well. I do have to drive it home tonight, so I bought a second air filter. And what I'm going to do is disconnect one of the charge pipes uh, from the turbo, put that air filter on there so as my drive home, which is about 45 minutes, there won't be any boost going into the engine. It's just going to be going through the, uh, probably through the intercooler into the, uh, into the throttle body. Oh, here comes the wind, sorry about that. Intercooler into the throttle body so I can make it home without any kind of boost. I don't want to go all this way with this build and then screw something up simply because, you know, I have the turbo attached. So uh, we're going to do that, maybe take it for a test drive. Uh, from what I understand, Domer did take it for a ride. There's no leaks, uh, just locally here, and that's a good thing. So uh, I'm just going to kind of hang tight, wait for Delmer to get here, and um, that's about it. So it's going to be a great day. It's been gorgeous. It's going to be a great weekend, and I'm pretty excited. Here we are, and let's take a look at what we have so far. we got the turbo in there. It looks really good. Charge pipes are on, and uh, we're about to actually put a shield that I got uh, that's going to go over the uh, hot end of the turbo. We're going to make some room for it, so we're probably going to pull this back a little bit, see if that fits. And I also bought, like I mentioned, I did get another air cleaner thing that came today. I guess we can maybe attach it to here or, or down there or something like that, just for the ride home, because I don't know. I'm being paranoid mm -hmm. as far as driving it. If I didn't have to drive on the highway, I think I'd be fine. Yeah. But, you know, going 70, I don't know if it's going to do any boost or not. I just go this far just to mm -hmm. screw something up just in yeah. case. I'm, I'm anal like that. But uh, anyway, it looks good. So we're going to go ahead and try to put this heat shield in going. Oh, and I also got the, um, I'll do this at home, obviously, the power steering line. Mm -hmm. I got the shield for that. Yeah. Take that off. So. All right. After struggling and going back and forth to do it, not do it, do it, not do it, we're actually going to do it and take this uh, cold side charge pipe off. Put this filter on with this pipe um, so the turbo is not really doing anything. If I was just driving normal suburban type roads, I think I'd have been fine. But on the highway, I'm not sure. I don't want any extra boost in there screwing anything up that uh, the computer doesn't like. So I'm gonna take that off and um, head home. All right, getting ready to leave. And we got the new fake cold air intake there hooked up. Got the cold charge pipe out of there. So I can at least make it home on the highway without worrying to death about it. All right, so I made it home, nice, safe and sound, no problems, no issues, engine stayed nice and cool, and now I can start concentrating on the little details that have to be done, such as the gauges and painting the pipes and dealing with the little corner piece on the fuse box. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Uh, but until then, this video is over. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you in the next one.